Martin, can you help? That's right. Martin, can you help? That's the question I'm going to explore today. Hi, it's Martin, coach, speaker, author. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been producing some videos in a series of three. I take a topic each week and then do one video to kind of inspire you to look at that topic in a slightly different way. And the second video motivates you into wanting to take action on that new thing. And then the third one educates you in maybe taking those first two or three steps. And we've explored it at the moment. We've explored what if, what if we could rise from trauma or difficulty and become a more confident version of ourselves? And in the second series, we looked at if only I had a choice. Now, without giving them away, if you haven't spoken to it, uh, if you haven't seen those uh, those videos yet, the first one, if only I could rise and become a more confident version of myself, then you can. And in terms of choice, if only I had a choice, you do. <laughs> and if you haven't seen them, I'll put the playlist down below so you can have a little look at those videos. In, in, the, in the meantime, in the meantime, behind the scenes, I've been receiving a lot of messages. Messages of support, loving the videos, which has been great. But also exploring their own situations and telling me about their situations and their environments and their, their choices, their decisions, what they want to be doing. And, and often, often asking then, is this something that I can help with? So I'm kind of thinking, well, if even one person is thinking what you're thinking, then the chances are that a lot of people are. So what I wanted to do is come on today, do a short video, give you some of the messages, not all of them, and I'm not going to name the names because that's that's very unprofessional. Um, I'm just going to give highlight some of the situations people have got, and that and these then should resonate with people, and, and give you that answer of yes, I can help you with that, and then I'll give you a, a very short kind of summary of how I can work with you going forward. It's not a sales pitch. I'm just getting some clarity out there and and sharing, you know, some of these stories that are behind the scenes. So, hi Martin. I've been in the same job for a number of years. I can, well, I can certainly um, attest to that in my previous life. What you said about choice really resonated. And during these crazy times, I've been thinking I really need to do something different. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I really don't feel like I have the confidence, though. Can you help me? Short answer. Yes. I mean, how many people are in that are in jobs, you know, be that prior jobs or, or what's happening right now? And it's just not fulfilling your soul. It's just, you know, it's having more of a negative impact on you than a, a positive one. And then. You know, it's it's the ultimate choice. You know, do I stay or, or or do I look at something else? And we have explored that in some of these other videos. So absolutely, I'm glad the the videos resonated. This is definitely a situation I can help with. It's you know, it's pretty much the situation I was in, and I didn't make the choice. I didn't make the change, and then that led to two burnouts, depression, anxiety, and a whole story that has led me to here. But I wouldn't wish that on anybody. So let's nip that in the bud before we go down that path. So recognizing, yeah, I want to do something about it. Lacking the confidence, not quite sure what to do. Yeah, right. Okay, let's talk about it. Absolutely. Hi, Martin. Loving your videos. Thank you very much. I've not worked for a few years because I've been raising a family. I now want to return to work, albeit the current crisis has unnerved me. Uh, I think that's fair enough, um, given the situation. Could you help me build my confidence up so that when we return to normal, I can really go for it? Absolutely. And the short answer again, yes. Uh, I love this. Um, I have worked with other people that have, have, have taken family time away, sabbaticals, maternity leave, and then They've, they have requested to build their confidence when they return back to the workforce because that you know, it doesn't matter. It can be a relatively short period out. But actually, because you've been living a different life in a, in a different world, returning back to that kind of work environment can actually be, you know, quite a tricky thing to do. Um, so, yeah, I've you know, it's absolutely something I helped with. And 
I, I mean, I, I love it. I mean, in terms of returning to normal, I know a lot of you know my views on, on normal. I don't certainly want us to return back to what was normal. You know, that was, those were some pretty crazy times. Let's define our own new normal, a, a better, a healthier, more positive, more productive normal going forward. And that sounds very much like this one. And it's interesting, right? The last three words are, you know, that, that, so that I can really go for it. Yeah, so for somebody who's lacking confidence, but actually really does want to give this a go. So there's, there's purpose there that is worth exploring, that is really going to help get through any confidence you know, blockers that we've got. And indeed, then, you know, having an incredible impact when they return back to work. And indeed, is the current climate, you know, an opportunity for work? So an interesting situation there that you may well resonate with. Hi, Martin, saw your videos. They've really got me thinking, which is great because that's what they're, in, they're, um, they're made for. I do want to use this opportunity to leave behind what didn't serve me. Love that. Using my words, um, didn't serve me and take what has served me to build a better lifestyle for me and my family. Absolutely something that totally resonates with me on that so thank you i now feel however that there are so many choices i don't know where to start can you help me um i mean wow right you, you probably a lot of you know that i am very vocal on using this opportunity right now these times right now to reflect and certainly build a better way of living going forward and this is this is great. The the choice videos have unlocked, you know, oh my god, I do have choices, which is brilliant. And then unfortunately, as a result of that, kind of overwhelmed by the amount of choice. And you're right, we've got to kind of narrow it down to okay, well, what are the important focus points of your life and your purpose and what you want to do going forward? And so that's that's a brilliant, brilliant adventure that uh, that person is going to be going on. And again, it might quite resonate with you. You reflect on things, you want to do a little bit different, not quite sure. And, you know, what can I do? So yes, can help. And then I'll just one final one that I'll, I'll just explore with you. Hi, Martin, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. When we return back to work, I work in an office, I would like to be more organised and have a better work-life balance. I've really enjoyed my family time during lockdown and don't want it to disappear again. Uh, is this something you could help with? Short answer, yes. Wow. And that, you know, again, that really, that hits me here because again, that's something that work-life balance, that was so out of kilter for me. It ended up with two burnouts and all that kind of stuff. So recognizing that your path before was leading to somewhere where, you know what, I just don't want this crazy time, these extraordinary times have afforded us an opportunity to maybe rethink that a little bit and take the best out of right now. Um, being able to spend so much time with our family because we're kind of forced to, but then realizing what we've been missing, absolute gold dust. So again, helping somebody then sort of reimagine, well, what does my future look like? You know, with my current employer or somebody else, or, you know, what does my life look like going forward? How can I organize that better? And so, yes, I can help with that. So I hope those are useful in kind of demonstrating some of the situations, some of the people behind the scenes are sharing with me. Because I'm sure, I know for certain that there are other people out there like that. And, you know, maybe you just haven't seen the videos or indeed you just haven't, haven't got that confidence to ask me. And that's fine. I'm here to say, if that's you, absolutely, yes, I can help. And the question that often leads from that is then, you know, when we get talking is, well, how, how would that work? How does working with you, um, how does that, what does that look like? And, you know, there are many different ways you, that people, you know, in organisations can work with me. For this kind of stuff, though, this is this is my my coaching business. This is empathy coaching, you know, where <laughs> empathy is really important to me. Um, the things that you're experiencing right now in terms of those those feelings, those things that are keeping you up late at night, the opportunity. I felt those things as well. I've been through these things as well. And so I use that amongst many other tools in my toolkit to help you and guide you learn from the lessons and the mistakes I've made and you get there, you get to your destination a lot quicker. And so what it looks like is really easy. First step is, you know, acknowledge, you know what? Yeah, that sounds like something. I'd like to explore that. Not quite sure how, not quite sure you know what, but you know, I, I'd like to make a go of this. Uh, a virtual coffee, simple as that. Let's have a chat. I, I, I joke about it, you know, click the link, bring a drink. We'll have, 
what everybody knows is a Zoom call now, how the whole world is on Zoom calls. Uh, we'll have a Zoom call, but if you don't want the video on, then we'll just have the audio. That's absolutely fine. And we'll just have a quick chat. You can talk me through your situation. Talk me through your feelings. Talk, you, talk me through what's been serving you, what hasn't, what kind of what you're thinking about right now, how you're sort of thinking about your future. And we'll kind of you know, I'll ask you questions about it so that we can get a real clear understanding of what's going on. Because from that understanding, there are two things that, that will come from that. Whether I can help you or not, because you will you will want to know by the end of the call whether I can help you or not. Um, and indeed, what that what that help might look like going forward. And so we have a call, we explore what's going on, and at the end of that call, I will I, I'll, I'll say whether I think I can help you or not, and I'll describe in what way that looks like. If I feel like I can help you if there's some specific reason that I, I don't feel like it's it's my expertise then I'm really open and honest about that I don't take on clients unless I can really empathize and can really add massive value to their lives um, the chances are I do know somebody in my in my extended network in my trusted partners that could help you so that's another thing that you know I love about the way we've set this up it's not it's not just about working with me um, even when you do work with me, if there are things that happen, I think, you know what, somebody could help you with that. I'll, I'll introduce you to those people. So that's kind of what we do. Conversation, clarify the situation. Can we work together? You then have the opportunity then to, to decide whether you wish to work with me or not. Uh, it's not a sell. It's not a sales pitch. It's just information. Does this feel like a good match? Yes, this feels like a good match. Great. If we want to work together, then how it'll work is I'm not going to sell you a three month program. I'm not going to sell you six steps to success. I'm not going to sell you anything like that because I'm building a relationship with you. And I know that life happens. And take a rigid course, for example. You can do a course and that's fine. I've done plenty of courses, learned lots from them. If I was to do a, like a coaching course with you, if on week three something was to hit you really hard and put you completely back, you can't focus and you become a week behind, that puts extra pressure on you. And you don't want extra pressure. You don't want to feel like you're behind and playing catch up. And then when the end, end of the course is finished, you you may, by that point, you might be two or three chapters behind and it's, you know, you're going to feel bad and I can manage that situation, but I don't want to put you in that situation in the first place. So no courses. I've got courses that you can access. I've got materials you will access. But what we'll do is we'll have a call or a Zoom call every week. There will be a day and a time that we agree that is your day and time to the end of time. So if you are three o'clock on a Wednesday, you are three o'clock on a Wednesday until you decide you've had enough value. You've gotten enough value out of our relationship to then kind of move on without the coaching in place. We saw all the money bit up, out, up front. So that just happens on a regular basis. We don't have to have awkward conversations about money on an ongoing basis. We don't have to have awkward conversations about fitting you into schedules or you, you fitting things into schedules. We're just going to get into a habit of doing this. This is your time. This is you know where you're putting yourself first. This is when you're focusing on your future and that's your time. And so that's how we work. We set that up and then every week we'll just be going through what's happened. We'll have a catch up and then there's likely to be some materials that might if we're doing confidence for example there's there are steps i can take you through that can explore various aspects of confidence so we can just raise that up over the coming weeks and you'll be able to use this stuff week in week out there'll be examples that you'll find you go oh i could use that you know and, and that is bringing it to life and that's giving you the reassurance that you need so i hope this has been useful uh, in terms of the situations that you might find yourself in and can I help? And then also obviously what, how to engage me in terms of working together and also what that may well look like going forward. The important thing about all of it is simplicity. I came from a world of complexity in financial services and the world that we've created around us is so complicated that I value simplicity. And by simply by being simple, it doesn't mean it's not effective and it doesn't mean that it's very powerful in, in, and 
um, can change things around very quickly. You know, people mistake simple for not effective. Um, but in my experience, it's often the simple things in life that actually have the biggest worth, the biggest value that make the biggest difference. You just often need somebody there to kind of guide you and help you in the right direction. So hope you found this really useful. If it's raised any questions for you, then just fire them over, put them in the comments or just fire me a DM. It's absolutely fine. And let's start a dialogue. I'll send the, I'll do the links for the two playlists in case you've missed the other videos. And I'll also put the link in for the virtual coffee. We well, just got to go in there. It shows my calendar and then you can pick a day and a time for us to have a, a quick chat. And that is as simple as it gets. So until my next video, thank you for watching and please do stay safe.